Welcome to the next video in the Boswell's College Maths Induction Playlist. In this video we're taking a look at simplifying algebraic fractions. Before we start this we're just going to take a look at a regular fraction. Uh, so we've got two fifths plus three quarters. Now one way in which I could answer this question is to take the first fraction and multiply it by the denominator of the other fraction. So multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by four. That leaves me with 8, so 2 times 4 gives me 8, and then 5 times 4, that gives me 20. So I've got 8 over 20 for that one. Then what I could then do is I could then take the other fraction, 3 quarters, and multiply it by the denominator of the other fraction. So times this whole fraction by 5. So what that will leave me with is uh, 15 uh, over 20. And all I'm doing here is I'm just adding these things together, and that will give me an answer. 8 plus 15 gives me 23 over 20. So the important thing is here really that uh, I need to have the denominator the same to, in order to answer this question. The same is true of algebraic fractions. So in order to answer this first question here, 2 over 3x plus 1 plus 4 over x minus 3, I'm just going to take the denominator of one of the fractions and multiply it by everything that I've got there. So I'm going to multiply 2 by x minus 3. That's going to give me 2 bracket x minus 3. And that is divided by um, 3x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 3. So now that I've done that, all that I then need to do is do exactly the same to the other one. So let's take this one here, this 3x plus 1, and multiply it by everything here. So what I'm going to end up with is 4 bracket 3x plus 1, and that's over x minus 3, or 3x plus 1, we'll keep it the same as it is here, 3x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 3. And so all that I'm doing here, as the question states up the top, is I'm just adding these two things together. Now, um, when I do this, uh, I, just need, I just need to basically expand these terms on the top, um, then simplify. So, um, that leaves me with 2x minus 3. Oops, sorry. 2x minus 3, 2x minus 6, um, plus 12x plus 4, and that's still um, over 3x plus 1. x minus 3. So when I'm when I'm doing this then I've got 2x plus 12x that leaves me with 14x minus 6 plus 4 that leaves me with minus 2 and that is all over 3x plus 1 x minus 3 and so that would be uh, my final answer. What I've done here is I have um, just added these two together. So I've got 14x minus 2 over 3x plus 1 x minus 3. So um, <clears throat> let's take a look at the second example doing exactly the same thing. I've got 3 over 2x minus 5 minus 4 over 3x plus 1. So first thing to do uh, multiply this whole fraction here by the denominator here. So that's going to give me 3 multiplied by 3x plus 1 and that's over 2x minus 5 multiplied by 3x plus 1 and then I'm from that I'm subtracting 4 and then 
multiplied by the denominator of the other fraction, so 4 multiplied by 2x minus 5 over um, 2x minus 5 multiplied by 3x plus 1. So from here, all I then need to do is expand these two uh, terms on the top and then simplify. So 3 multiplied by 3x, that's going to give me 9x plus 3, just expanding that bracket. And then, uh, then I now have minus, minus 4 times 2x, so that's going to give me minus 8x. And then I've also got 4 minus, multiplied by minus 5 that's going to give me minus 20 and I'm subtracting minus 20 so a minus and a minus is going to give me a positive so I'm going to be adding on 20 so 9x plus 3 minus 8x plus 20 and that is all over um, the denominator 2x minus 5 um, and then 3x plus 1 so then all I then need to do is just tidy this up a little bit, this bit on the top. That's going to leave me with 9x minus 8x. That's going to leave me with just x. And then I've got uh, 3 plus 20. That's going to leave me with 23. So x plus 23 on the top. And then that's divided by 2x minus 5. And multiplied by 3x plus 1. And that would be my final answer. So um, take a look at the oh, the two examples um, that I've set out for you. At least I thought I had. Maybe I haven't. Where are they? No oh dear. Um, so what I suggest you do is take a look at those um, worked examples that I've already done rather unhelpfully. Um, but maybe cover your eyes, I don't know, um, and attempt those and then see if you get it right.